Next thing, we're going to add a polygon. I'm going to go away here. I'm going to use a cube just because. Just a few motions. If you hold down, you don't have to hold down, just press the button. Q gives you the select tool. You can see it here. It gives you a little shortcut right there. So Q is for the select tool. W is for the move tool. And if you see here, it will show up again. You can see the W is written right there. This allows you to move in the Y axis. The top is always the Y axis. You can also see it right here. This is your gizmo. It's your best friend. With Y axis, X axis, move side to side. The Z axis, front to back. Okay. So again, use your move tool. This is your Y axis. It goes up and down. Your X axis goes um, left to right. And the Z axis, front to back. Okay. The next one is that's under W. The next one on your keyboard will be the E. And E is your rotation, rotate tool. There you use a shortcut. So again, that's my X axis. It's kind of toggled around a little bit, which is really interesting. Normally it usually stays away. Anyways, it's your X axis, it's your Y, and it's your Z. You can also see in the outliner it's changed. You can also drag it right there by clicking the rotate and middle mouse button drag side to side and it will rotate it on that axis only. Same thing for the Y. And you can do that right there. One thing to note, Maya is a mathematical program and so you can type in your own mathematical numbers here. Make sure it's just from 1 to 360 please and it will reset it back to zero all at once. And then the last one is R, which is your scale tool. And that is Y axis, X axis, Z axis. If you do not want to just scale them from, from one point, this nice little cerulean box in the middle right there, you want to click and drag from there and it will drag from the center out and it will uniform scale it. Okay. You can also use these, but that usually typically aligns with the side. You see it has the color corresponding color. It usually corresponds with the with the axis. So I don't typically use these because it doesn't make any sense to do that. You want to drag from the middle right there out, and that is uniform scaling. Alrighty. There we go.